Hey, Upper Cervical Family, it's Dr. Tedder here. I wanted to shoot a video uh, about a certain topic that Dr. Barker uh, asked me about, and I was training him, and I thought, hey, this would actually be a pretty good video for education for the patient. So he asked me, how in the world can you determine from patient to patient how much care somebody needs? How often they need to come in? How much care do they need in corrective care and maintenance care? Um, and I was like, man, that's a really good answer. And so I want to give you one way we look at it. There's many ways we do, to be honest with you. But there's one thing that I thought that you guys would really benefit from and maybe think was really neat. So <clears throat> one of the ways that I learned from an orthopedic surgeon, a friend of mine, and a neuro neurosurgeon. So the orthopedic surgeon taught me the bony bone part I'm going to explain to you. The neurosurgeon explained the spinal cord damage part of what I'm going to explain to you. So when we look at an x-ray, and you guys have heard the word bone spur. Um, when we look at an x-ray, and let's say this is a bone, this is a bone, and in the middle is the disc. You guys have heard of disc. And they move on top of each other pretty awesome like that for about 80 to 100 years, unless you have a misalignment or a loss in your curve or a trauma. So when we look at an x-ray from the side view, whoops, I dropped my disc. When we look at an x-ray from the side view, the back portion of the bone, if you have injury to it or chronic subluxation, every five years, it will develop a bone spur on one bone. If it stays there longer than five years, the next bone above it will create a spur. If it stays there five years longer, another bone will another bone spur will form. So the orthopedic surgeon told me for every bone spur, for on for every bone spur you see on each neck bone represents five years of trauma to, to the neck. Meaning, if I do an x-ray of you today and there's one spur, around five or six years ago, you injured your neck. If you have two bone spurs, Around 10 to 12 years ago, you injured your neck. Uh, if you have four bone spurs, some around 20 years ago, you injured your neck. So that was pretty neat for me because it gave me a scientific way to measure how long the damage has been in the neck so I can know how bad you are. Not your pain, because you can have pain starting last week, but your 20-year-old bone problem, uh, you know, it showed up last week when you slept funny or when you worked in the yard. So then we take that information and I wanted to know, well, how long would it take me in five years, 10 years, 15, 20 years of damage to get a patient stable, their spinal cord and nerve system stable? So then I reached out to a neurosurgeon friend of mine who deals with scar damage. So he told me when a spine is damaged or misaligned, it will begin to rub onto the spinal cord or nerve root. And when that happens, you develop a callus on your spinal cord very much like my hand does when I work out in the gym. And that callus ultimately is what causes your health issues because it causes nerve interference. It causes the nerve not to work right. And whatever it attaches to, your liver, your lung, your spleen, your back, your head, your nose, those things don't work right. So what he told me, for every uh, year that the spine has been, spinal cord has been damaged, it needs one month of care, a chiropractic care actually. As he said, it'll take you one month of chiropractic care for every year the spinal cord has been damaged. So if you have 20 years of damage on your x-ray, it will take 20 months for your spinal cord to heal, which means that a lot of times your problems and your health conditions will take time to heal and stabilize. So what we did is I, I, if you have a five years of damage, it takes five months of care to get your spine stable. So we developed a care plan that was corrective care. So when you guys come into us as new patients, it takes anywhere from a couple months to a couple years to get that spine stable. And once we do, then we switch you into maintenance care. And maintenance care is designed to not only not to, to maintain the health that we created, to maintain the spinal cord integrity that we created. Because if you don't, when you come out of alignment, Every 48 hours after that, your body begins to build bone spur damage, callus tissue damage, and your body begins to build disease again. I hope that makes sense, but that's exactly what I was explaining to Dr. Barker that they did not teach him in school. They didn't teach me in school. 
Um, and it, it was two scientific breakthroughs that allowed me to provide elite care for my patients more than just racking and cracking you and saying, come in. There's actually scientific evidence supporting how we take care of you and your family. So, but here's the really cool thing in my mind. It's more important, why wait 5, 10, 15, 20 years? Because back then you didn't know you had a problem. Why not get your spine checked early in life like an infant or a newborn or a toddler or a middle school child? Why don't we get them checked so that their bodies and spinal cords don't deteriorate and wait till they're 30, 40, 50 to come see me? It makes more sense to get them checked and stable from day one. So I want to encourage you to think about that. And uh, we love you. We appreciate you. Thanks for being part of the big mission of us trying to support and transform the community. And I can't wait to see you guys in the office uh, later this week.